Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today I was asked a lot about in my latest streams at least, what do you do after level 60? So you can see that I got level 60 in just a couple of weeks, and a lot of people have been asking just recently, what now that you're level 60? So I'm going to cover everything you can do at level 60, why getting level 60 is not a bad thing, and why you are going to want to have really, like I said, a lot of fun after that level 60 mark. So we're going to jump right into today's video. Thank you again for tuning in, and let's do it. All right, guys, so we are in Windsward right now. I'm going to show you guys just a few things you can do at level 60. We're going to start off with some of the most obvious and some of the most fun. Uh, that's going to be really going up to your faction rep. You can see this join Outpost Rush if you guys have never done so. Outpost Rush is a 20v20 mode that has a very, very kind of cool aspect to it. You can think of kind of Smite or, you know, League of Legends style. However, there is no minions. There's just more team fights. There's just more fun involved, in my opinion. But you can see you can join as a group or join as a solo player. And there's actually going to be multiple ways of winning. And we're going to kind of, you know, talk about that in future Outpost Rush guides. But, you know, Outpost Rush is a great way to get insane, insane loot. And it's a lot of fun PvP. So if you're looking to have a lot of little, like I said, fun PvP fights, it can actually be 20v20. It can also be down to 16v16 if there's not a player search. But right now, this is not something that, you know, I currently have gotten into quite yet because there's just not enough level 60s. But we are getting there. As you can see right now, if I search, there's actually three people in of the 40. So I'm assuming, you know, maybe this Saturday night we might be able to get to 32 players searching up because this server is, you know, fairly solid when it comes to level 60s. We have quite a bit of them. I do want to jump into a few other things that you're going to want to do at level 60 and that you're missing out if you're not level 60. Uh, when it comes to level 60, there's a lot of different things you can do. Obviously, you've been to all of these cool zones, Everfall, Windsward, First Light, Cutlass Keys. But have you been to places like... Evans scale. Have you been to places like Reekwater? So Reekwater is a 58 to 60 zone that you really aren't able to take advantage of until level 60 or you're going to get kind of messed up. You know, you can go there, but if you have like not a solid group or, you know, there's a lot of different reasons. But the cool thing about level 60 is that, like I said, you can go to these places that you haven't really been to, Evans scale and Reekwater, as well as Shattered Mountain in the top side. There's going to be a lot of cool areas. So if we actually take a look up here, I've been up here many, many times. Merkguard is one of the coolest areas in this game. It's got the, you know, a couple different really elite spots where there's elite chests that you can only get, you know, in loot once per day. And, uh, you know, I've taken a look up there. I've done a lot of this content already, and I'm so excited to continue to do it. And there's a lot of reasons why regarding gear score. We're going to talk about gear score in just a second when it comes to level 60, but you can also do the same thing in Reekwater. We've been over to Reekwater, and there's another zone that, you know, 63 recommended, recommended players 5, and you can also see that there's huge dungeons. So we're going to talk about the instanced areas here in just a second, but when it comes to the, uh, you know, zones specifically and gear specifically, it takes a while to get good gear. So you can actually get gear when you're level 60 all the way up to 600, and that's going to be a legendary gear drop. So 600 is the highest gear score in the game currently. If you take a look at my gear right now, I have nothing over like 500. Um, let's see here. Flame Wake is going to be one of my best gear in game right now. It's 500. Um, you know, I have a couple. Let's see here. 504s, 515. Um, but for the most part, you know, the gear is pretty bad. And that's one thing that you'll notice very, very quickly in New World. You'll find that, uh, you know, once you get to level 60, you're still getting those 500 gear score drops, 505, 515. You're not going to be able to jump over that 515 mark until you continuously upgrade your gear. And a lot of people have thought that that may mean just drops, you know, different gear score drops. So if you get a drop and you pick it up and it's, let's say, 515, you're actually moving your watermark up a little bit. But if you put that on, you're moving it up a little bit more. So it's kind of a weird concept when it comes to the gear score watermarks. We haven't been able to actually identify exactly what it is. We've heard a lot of different things, but some people think it's when you pick that item up and you, let's say it's a 510 and I've previously had on a 504 leg. So I pick that 510 leg up and it increases my watermark just a little bit. Some people think you have to actually equip it, but you know, that's the, that's the kind of thing right now. So there's going to be a huge late game grind for gear. Gear. Getting good gear is going to be massive. And so when you go into these dungeons and things, limited gear is going to drop at, you know, 500, 515, 510. You're not going to be able to upgrade to that 600 gear by drops very early on. So I want to kind of explain that gear is going to be its own kind of leveling process at the end of this game when it comes to drops. And I do expect a lot of grinding to take place when it comes to some of these PvE arenas, some of these dungeons. And that's another thing I wanted to kind of mention. There's a lot of level 60 dungeons and content when it comes to PvE. 
So if we take a look here, there's Lazarus Instrumentality, which is a re recommended level 60 zone. Minimum players, obviously three. You're going to want to take five for Lazarus Instrumentality. And then we also have the zone up here. And I made videos on both of these, by the way, on a test build that we did earlier. Garden of Genesis, another recommended level 60. Minimum players going to be three. You're going to want five again. So there's a lot of cool areas like this. And you're also going to be able to see here, Thread of Life. So search the ruins for the key to enter the cleft. And the cleft is actually going to be a Spriggan Arena. There's a lot of these Spriggan Arenas, PvE arenas around the world. So there's a lot when it comes to PvE as well. It's not just PvP and Outpost Rush and Wars and everything like that. But, you know, I want to talk about invasions as well. So invasions may not be level 60 to get, in, you know, to get invited. You have to actually be level 50. So it's not really a max level 60 thing to do. But typically they're going to take the level 60s because, you know, you're going to want your best chance of survival in that invasion. So less things downgrade when you get hit and lose. So you can also see that there are wars, right? So how do you push a war? Well, once you're level 60, there's still reasons to push you know, and engage in war. So you can see here, um, let's take a look at one of these. So Evan Scale Reach is currently getting pushed by Marauders a little bit. You can see that bar. So let's take a look and see where it's at. So the influence right now is 37% of 63. So we need, or sorry, of 100. So we need to continue to see people doing PVP missions out in Evan Scale to see this bar push to 100 and declare war. This is something that is going to continue to remain in the game until really the game dies because PVP in wars and taking uh, territories is so and so important in this game. So I will expect that to be another thing you can do at level 60 and something I've continued to do as well. When it comes down to PvP, like I said, there's so much and it's not just going to be those, you know, random wars out and about. It's going to be a lot of, in, you know, kind of influence things like outpost rush wars um, but you know those are just a few things like i said that i talked about right there there's so much when it comes to pve gathering and crafting and refining as well if you go to your trade skills you can see right now i don't have maxed out on anything besides uh tracking and skinning because it's you know tracking and skinning is easily the fastest one and then there's also going to be weapon mastery right so there's so much to do, and I, I want to real, really kind of reiterate how long Weapon Mastery takes. I'm level 60. I've been level 60 for a day or two, and you can see I only have one level 20 Rapier, one level 20 Fire Staff, but I have nothing else level 20. I have my bow very, very close, and that'll be three of the 11 weapons. There's going to be more weapons introduced. We've talked about the Void Gauntlet, how that was already introduced and coming to the game. We talked about the Dual Daggers, another weapon that we know is coming to the game. These are going to be new weapons that we're also going to have to level up. A lot of fun weapons to try out and engage in that PvP and PvE content. If we take a look as well, we also know that there is a new zone coming out. We know it's going to be right here, right? So we know this is Brimstone Sands, right above Evan Scale Reach, which is going to be another level 60 zone, another dungeon coming, and a lot of new content. I'm excited about all of this stuff, guys. And if you take a look at Shatter Mountain, like I said, this is going to be the best place to really kind of jump around once you're level 60, and that's going to be Merc Guard. It's going to really open up at level 60 because if you go up there before, you better have a very, very solid team. And I think, you know, this is going to be the place a lot of teams go up to farm elite chests. They go up there to continue to gather and get their gear score slowly moved up in progress from 500 to 515 to 530 to 550 to 560 to 600. And finally, you know, enabling those 600 gear score legendary drops. There's a lot of great quests as well. So when you hit 20 mastery or 20 uh, weapon mastery in a skill, you're going to start to be able to start those really legendary quests out in the white zone. Those will actually net you some very, very good gear as well. So a lot of great content opens up, like I said, at level 60, whether it's PvP or PvE. I believe I covered everything. Let me know in the comments if I missed something kind of uh, obvious or missed something that uh, you think kind of opens up at level 60. So far, I've had a lot of fun at level 60. The game has not gotten less interesting to me at the very least. It may change a little bit for you, but, you know, currently having a lot of fun, having a blast. If you guys haven't already, jump down into the description below. Check me out on Twitch. It's going to be twitch.tv slash iGarfGuy. I get asked all the time what kind of content is there at level 60. Is it fun? Is it boring? And I just wanted to kind of cover that in today's video. So thank you guys again for listening to me rant just a little bit. If you have not already, make sure to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Like the video. And like I said, comment below if I missed anything spectacular that you think is going to be a fun thing to do at level 60. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next one.